What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release today, guys. This is 2020 Panini Contenders Football. This is a four-box break, random divisions, number one. And again, guys, this is always a highly anticipated release. I love the cracked ice, the rookie tickets, the Super Bowl tickets, all that good stuff, guys. So again, this is an eight-spot break, guys. Everybody gets a random division in the NFL. Just remember, no veteran commons will ship, but everything else will. The inserts, rookies, all that good stuff. And then again, <clears throat> here's the dice roller. Here's the customer names. So Will got the first two, then Gail, then Jack, Adam, David, Jack, and Mike, uh, Mike McCarthy. So there you go, man. Congratulations. Or not congratulations. Good luck, I should say. I was thinking of the other ones. And there you go. AFC North. Down to the NFC West. Everybody gets a random division. For the most part, guys, I think every division does have some good rookies. But there are, of course, some divisions that will be much more loaded than others. And then some veterans. Should be popping out of here. Tom Brady is with the Bucks. And this, so a chance to get some autos of him and Tom Brady uh, with the Buccaneers. So good luck, guys. Let's roll the dice. And we got ourselves a 5-1 and a one for six times. Six times. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Boom. Six times. Mike at the top, done again. You still have, did you end up uh, framing that Gretzky? That Gretzky was beautiful. Five and a one, six times. Six times. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. AFC East down to the AFC South. All right, there you go. Six times, six times. So, Mike, you have the AFC East, Jack with the NFC East, David with the NFC West, Will with the AFC North, Adam Cubbern with the AFC West. Will, you have the NFC North, Jack with the NFC South, and Gail with the AFC South. So, I'm going to alphabetize it. <clears throat> I, I don't hardly ever see any divisions uh, getting traded or up for trade, but I'll give you guys a quick minute. And in case any of you guys need the like NFL divisions or something... You guys can check it out. Should I just go to images? Wow, this is really tiny. What the hell's going on here? So yeah, you guys can check that out right there and see your divisions in case you need it. Um, maybe today, Jack. Usually we kind of go on a little run. We'll do hit packs a couple days straight. Then we'll go to like crates. Then there's days where we don't do anything. It just depends on the stock of how much cards we got. But like I say, we just got like a lot in a couple days ago. So I think that's why we were able to do some yesterday. Um, but I'm hoping. I, I think we usually, we usually do at least one out of the last three weeks. Or one out of the last three, uh, three weekend days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I assume we'll have some at least in the next few days, if anything. Tonight, tomorrow, or, of course, uh, Sunday. But it's really nice, right, Jack? Those, those hit packs are awesome. All right, trade window close. Yeah, so what we always tell customers, I know a lot of customers love the YouTube side, love the case breaking side, but, you know, if you, if you miss those, like, Jaspi, Jaspi, like, you know, repack products that we do here, like Big Kid Express, you can kind of get that feel on the Instagram side, you know, with those hip packs and stuff. So it ends up working out pretty good. <clears throat> No, I'm, today is, 
Today's technically my day off, but on new releases, I usually just come in for a couple hours, uh, then go back to enjoying my day off, and then I'm off tomorrow, and then I'm back Sunday here, Monday, and then I go back to Instagram, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, but Teddy will be live today. Teddy, man, I do the, the G. He'll be live today, tomorrow, and then Sean on Instagram will be live Sunday, Monday. But like I said, I love doing what I do, so... I don't mind coming in for a couple hours in the morning to break, especially when it's like something like this. Like I say when I was when I when I was sick a couple weeks back, I hated that I missed like all these new releases during Christmas time. So I was like, yes, I can break some contenders now. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, guys, just because they're in fours. And there's like three levels. So these four boxes here at the top will be one break. And then these four here will be one break. Since they're four box divisionals. And then these four here will be for another break here. Yeah, man. I think we really do, Jack. We always try to tell people I think our, our hit packs are one of the best around. I think it's really good value. Very fair. And we also give you guys the floor and the ceiling for the most part sometimes. So... <clears throat> Pretty strong. All right, if I roll a 1-2, we're going to go with the left. 3-4 middle. 5-6 right side. Horrible roll, but it's a 3. 1-2, 3-4. And let me just... Uh, does Joe even have a marker here? No marker. Well, there's one we're going to use, but... Just so you guys know, this will be from the same case. What up, I know, perfect timing, man. Perfect timing. I love contenders. I would love to pull a crack dice. That is my goal. Even though I'm only going to have a couple breaks today. Crack dice goal. Alright. Good luck to the eight of you. Or, I should say maybe six or seven. There's a couple of you guys that got two spots. There you go. <clears throat> Coming up next, guys, is the uh, team random that sells out Pikachu number one. And then Pikachu number two is already down to six. So, we're close. They do have ticket stubs this year. They do. Then they have those, like, Easter egg 101s. Those, like, I forget they're called, like, mosaics or something. I pulled a Nick Bosa last year during release day. And I didn't know it was, like, a one of one. But I think they have those again this year. Like, the clear mosaic tickets, I think it's called. Those are sick. Oh, these packs are so easy to rip. All right, guys, we'll take this box a little slow, kind of enjoy it for the first one, and then we'll start flying through, like, the base. I like the design. They have a lot of these round numbers, which, of course, some of these will be, since this is a divisional break, like, this is going to stay with the NFC East. But for, like, pick your teams, we'll have to randomize them. If there ends up being, like, two of these in a break or four, and you know, we can just evenly split them. But for the most part, you know, those will be, have to be randomized. 
Our first numbered card is a playoff ticket here to 199. That is James Conner. That'll go to AFC North. Going to Will. Legendary. Rookie of the Year contenders, Jalen Hurts. MVP contender, Jimmy Garoppolo. So again, these are just base cards. And Henry Ruggs to start us off. There's your on-card auto ticket. Raiders. I seen that, David. So yeah, they had they had said, man, Burrow just missed the the pack out, but he already sent his redemption. So yeah, you guys will be getting the redemptions right away for Burrow. So that's pretty good. All right, so that's uh, AFC West. Adam Coverman, winning ticket, Drew Brees. There's round numbers there. That's both Patriots. Jeff Okuda. And we got Donovan Peoples-Jones. And wow, our first cracked ice. Can't believe he didn't make an on-card. Donovan Peoples-Jones is a baller. Look at that. Cracked ice, 18 out of 22. There's our first cracked ice of the day. So that is AFC North going to Will. I know, Rebel. <laughs> but they probably make these like way before. Ooh, redemption? Ooh, did we get two on card autos in this? Rookie round numbers right there. Eric Dickerson. Jonathan Taylor. Bryce Perkins. Rookie ticket there for the Rams. Winning ticket, Russell Wilson. Round numbers there. And Tyler Bat is that a kicker? Championship ticket of forty nine. Bills. Alright, let's check this out, guys. Who could this be? Is this Burrow? Could this be a Burrow? Rookie ticket. Car number 229. No, it's Tim Patrick. I have no idea who Tim Patrick is. Let's see. Anybody know Tim Patrick? Broncos. There you go. I'm not on the stud level then, Ramon. I don't know the studs. Right, let me go get a marker. I need a marker here. So Broncos. And actually, let me put the division here too. Actually, no. I don't know where it goes. Alrighty. And there you go, guys. That was the first box.
Alright, if he'd have Hank Aaron, man, it's crazy. Jeremy, what's going on, man? All right, next box. Yo, Jay, they have uh, Kerry Willis as a rookie auto here, and it's his second year. Oh, so what you're saying, sorry, Derek, I just caught up right now with you and Sean. So, yeah, I've noticed that other sports, because usually this is kind of normal, like in, you know, hockey or, or baseball, but I feel like um, football started just a little bit more because they didn't really produce cards from him, maybe. And really, Young Ho Kim, uh, young, the, the kicker, the one that for the Falcons now, the one that played with the Chargers first, I think, he... He, he's a rookie and stuff like this now. <laughs> Which is kind of, I mean, it's normal, right? Let's say they don't even produce cards from the guy. I mean, they have to produce some eventually, right? Especially if they become someone in the league. They can't have, like, no cards. Or what usually happens, like, in soccer lately, right? You know, we'll call it first, you know, first Joel Filesh cards or whatever, you know, because they never produce rookies of them. But... You know, they produce cards two, three years later. So, I feel like that's, that's starting to happen a lot more and more. It's like Lou Dort, you know, with, with like the Thunder. They hardly really produced any rookies of his like last year, as a, you know, or so. So, a lot of his like newer stuff is considered rookies. Like, um, a lot of people say that with uh, the Heat guy. Um... Uh, his mosaic base are considered like his rookie cards. Duncan Robinson. All right, there you go. I think this one will have to be randomized, but if we get more, we can split them up. <clears throat> Ooh, Chase Young, Rookie of the Year contenders, number to 149. Washington football team. That'll be NFC East. Another one there. And Zach Moss. We're going to be missing him this weekend, maybe, right? A lot of people, a lot of people buy those up. Yeah, Derek. Some people say that about him with Mosaic. Mahomes. The numbered ones sell much better, but yeah. And we got Trayvon Diggs to 99. Dallas Cowboys, NFC East. I got some points coming up. Two hundred and fifty. There you go. That'll be randomized to one customer here. Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I mean, I remember during the playoffs, his that stuff was like hot. I think his base were pretty expensive at one point. For the Ravens. Xavier Jones, rookie ticket. Rams.
All right, next one. All right, box three or four, guys. So it looks like, not that there's a pattern, but it looks like the first auto on the left stack has been the on card. So I'm going to try to leave the on card towards last. That's usually the, the bigger rookie of the box. Uh, he should, Jack. I don't see him losing. I mean, the only person I could think that can maybe compete is Justin Jefferson, maybe. You know, Jonathan Taylor and those guys. But I think Herbert, you know, quarterback, played so much, so, so well his rookie year. He should win. But it was a great year for rookies, though. A lot of great rookies produced really well for their teams. Dylan, rookie of the year contenders. And we got a little Kyler Murray MVP contenders to 149. Seahawks round numbers. Wow, actually it's on the right side now. That would would mess with me. 77 out of 99. Usually it's on the left side, but it's not. Played me. I was played. KJ Hamler. Playoff ticket number to 99 for the Denver Broncos. <clears throat> Christian McCaffrey lottery ticket. And we got a little AJ Terrell. It's another one that'll be randomized there. And they will just do top or bottom just to make it easier. So I don't have to do a gazillion randoms. All right, we got some more points coming up. 250. Marquez Callaway for the Saints. Jalen Rager. Devon Hamilton for the Jaguars. Winning ticket Tom Brady. And NFC East right there, so it'll stay like that. All right, one more box, guys.
All right, guys, last box. Good luck, everybody. Burrow. <clears throat> yeah, Mike Evans. Antonio Gibson. Whoa. Autograph. 63 out of 99. Colin Johnson. Another cracked eyes. Jaguars. Another redemption there. The Darius Anderson playoff ticket to ninety nine for the Colts. And Zach Bond, rookie ticket for the Saints. Oh, so also be randomized too. Actually, sorry. Ended up being two of the same one, so we'll just split them. Um, NFC West gets one, and then the AFC South gets one. Or NFC South, sorry. Just split them like that. All right, let's look at the last redemption, guys. We'll do a quick recap, do the randomizer there for the points, and then the little top or bottom. Um, so good luck. Let's quickly just see who this is. Rookie ticket, car number 148. Isaiah Simmons, very nice. It should be Cardinals, right? Yeah, Cardinals. All right, guys. Well, the first break of contenders in the books. We did get some nice stuff. No big rookie quarterback, unfortunately, but some nice players. Let's do a quick little recap. Uh, remember, also... This is just a one-third case break. We still have two more breaks in the same case. So uh, I'm not sure if Nick put up another random division, but if you guys want to run it back, we definitely can. Um, but here you go. You got Marcus Callaway, Colin Johnston, or sorry, this is a Devon Hamilton. Your on card was um, Antonio Gibson, a 99 playoff ticket. You got a cracked dice here of Colin Johnson. You have uh, Darius Anderson, Zach Vaughn, Isaiah Simmons redemption, AJ Terrell, um, Xavier Jones. You got uh, Justin Madubuk. And you got KJ Hamler playoff tickets to 99. Trevon Diggs, Zach Moss, Perkins, championship ticket to 49 of Tyler Bass. Uh, Tim Patrick, you got a cracked ice Donovan Peoples Jones. And rookie ticket, Henry Ruggs. So there you go, guys. That was the break. And then, you know, I have all the rookie round numbers, bigger rookies and, you know, rookie year contenders that will top load and stuff like that. And then we'll just randomize this, top or bottom. Either, or sorry, left, right, we'll do up in the back. So either Chase Young, Washington football team, or Detroit Lions. I guess since it's this, we'll just do it. Um, like that. Left, right. And then we have two 250 points. Top two gets each one. Since that will be considered a hit.
All right, so everybody will have a shot at the points. And then we'll go left, right. Use the same dice roll. Three and a four, seven times. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven times. Jack. And will so Jack let me quickly post a note this for you so you're gonna get 250 points as a little bonus and then will you also get 250 points Alrighty, and let's go seven times here. Left, right. One, two, three, four, five, or four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Right side, so that'll be Jeff Okuda lines. Mac, I'm not sure. Usually they're starting to drop off stuff, so I won't know until later or whoever's on IG later. Teddy. Usually USPS comes around 11, 12, so. Or sorry, UPS and FedEx. I appreciate it, guys. This was a four box random divisions break number one on jazbeescasebreaks.com.